Hello, good evening. Good evening, Janet, Luis, and Carlos. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Are you having a good day? A good Friday? Any plans for the weekend? No plans for the weekend? No. Okay. Just stay at home and rest, probably. It's uh, the best thing that we can do. Well, uh, thank you so much for being on time. I just see if I connected now. Um, maybe it's because of the traffic, probably. Um, and how are you doing with the platform? Have you finished section number one, two? Have you finished the session number one and two in the platform? No, todavía no. Hacerla, boy. Not yet? Okay. So, um, I think that we developed a couple of them. So, we can... Um, okay, Carla said that unit one is complete. That's good. And some of you still working in section number one. So uh, we did a couple of exercises in the previous classes and we can work on the rest of them. In the meantime, just um, also waiting for the rest to join today's section. So I'm gonna share the screen with you so that we can um, do those exercises together. Okay. Here we are with section number one, and we developed the first um and the first exercise, which is about um, comparatives. And we did this together. If you want to take a screen of the answer, that's okay. Then we developed the second exercise, and uh, that was about coordinated conjunctions, and we did this as a uh, as a review so you can check the answers there um and then we have this one that we need to complete maybe we can do it together and it's going to be also useful as a review for us it says read the definition and match it with the correct word let's read the definition number one is a portion of food often smaller than a regular meal, generally eaten between meals. What do you think it is? Snack, starter, drinks, dessert, main it's course? Snack. snack, okay, let's click a snack. The principal dish of a meal. Main courses. Okay, let's check main courses. Three, a flavored beverage. A flavored beverage. Drink. Okay, drink. Uh, the sweet curds eaten at the end of a meal. What is the definition for that one? Desserts. Okay, let's click dessert. A small dish served as the first part of a meal. A small dish. Uh-huh. Starter. Okay, starter. 
And we check here. Okay, all your answers are correct. Excellent. Thank you so much for uh, your participation. And let's see what do you have in the next exercise is to select could or might to complete the statement. Which of these two is often used with want or like to add politeness? Do you remember? Could or might? Might. Might. Okay, let's check might. Uh, used to make suggestions. Which of these two is good? Okay, let's select good. The event be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. What is the best option here to complete? Give both up. The event be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. What is the best um, model auxiliary here? Could or might? Which one would you choose? My. My? I consider. <laughs> Okay, let's see if it works. Solo trasquero. Right, with food. Oh, my. And this one? <laughs> now, let's see. The boss wants to start the event with the speech. Might. Might, uh-huh. It sounds like a good option. And the last one, the manager likes to launch a new line of piecemeal. Might. Okay, and let's send the answers. Okay, all of them are correct. Excellent. Remember that might is also uh, followed by want or like. And in this case, yes, we selected could because it was um, the best option here since according to what we studied, might is followed by want or like. Okay, so excellent. You did a very good job. And then in this one, let's select the correct um, uh, promotional strategy to their meaning. Uh, personalized incentives. What is this, the, this, this strategy's meanings, personalized incentives? Is that publicity stunts, bundling, public relations, loyalty offerings, or sampling? A loyalty offering. Loyalty offering, sounds good. Number two, the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it. Sampling. Okay, sampling sounds good. Offering several products for itself as one combined product. Bundling. Okay, sounds good. The professional maintenance of a favorable public image. Seria publicity stunts. 
Okay, let's try. Uh, plan event decide to attract the public's attention. That is publicity stones. Okay, so. that is publicity stone. And then number four will be? Public relations. Public relations, okay, let's check. Oh, it's just partially correct. Hmm. Why? Hmm. What do you think? Something. 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 It's the last. Oh, the three. The three. The no, 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 la tres es, es uh, publicizado, publicito, eh, es, ajá, es. Ok. And the number five. Building. This one? Yes. Ok, that's weird. No debería de ser así, pero ok. Uh -huh. Ok, so remember when you get to this part, cuando vayan a esta parte, recuerden, ni number one, tienen que seleccionar loyalty up. Number two, sampling. Number three, publicity stunts. Number four, public relations. And find bundling. I don't know why, but yes, it's no con lo que vimos en el material, pero bueno, ha de ser algún errorcito por ahí, pero bueno, en pro de avanzar lo haremos así. Ok, now we started the section number two, so we can go ahead and um, try to solve this. Uh, let's see. Ok, this we have covered this topic, so um, let's see. What did this word mean? Match the meaning to the word. To manage a situation or problem? Is it confirm, handle, notify, payment, or greeting? No. Okay, handle. To inform. Sería notify. Mm -hmm. That's a good option. Salutation. Greeting. Okay, greeting. The act of pain. Payment. Okay. To give approval. Confirm. No, no. Okay. okay. And now the next part, it says read the content in a server training manual and select if it is very important or less important. Addressing customers. Very important. Very important, okay. Prevention of accidents and safety. Very important. Very important. Decanting wine. Less important. Less important. Getting to know the menu. Very, very important. important. Uh, very or less important? Very, very important. Very important, okay. Following the schedule. Important. 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 Okay, let's send these answers. And sending. It's sending and nothing happens. Oh, okay, this is correct. 20 out of 20. 
Okay, so I uh, hope that you have, um, okay, adverse of transitions. Uh, we studied this yesterday, like, yes. So, mm -hmm. yes, we have covered this. So number one, the waiter gets you food you ask for. Is this good or bad service? If the server or the waiter gets you food you ask for, is it good or bad service? Good service. Good service. Uh-huh. Yes. The food takes too long to be served after offering it. Bad service. Bad service. The waiter is polite. Good service. Good service. Good service. The dish you want to order is not available, but it appears listed in the menu. Bad service. Bad service. Bad service. The dish in the menu differs from the actual dish in the way it brings to the table. Bad service. Bad service. Okay, in this, it says that we need to add the adverbs to complete the sentences. Watch the order first, then, after that, finally, and next. We have, we wash the dishes, we eat dinner, we cook the food, we watch TV after the dishes, and we get home from work. What is uh, first? That. Which one is first? That. Oh, next. <laughs> next. ¿Cuál sería first? ¿En cuál seríamos first? Uh, first, number five. Number five. Number five. Okay, let's see. First. Okay. And then? Number three. Number three. 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 Okay. Before. Then. Uh, after that? Number one. Oh, no, number two. Okay. After that. Next or finally? Finally, number four. So here is finally and next. It would be number one then. Correct? Next. Okay, let's watch. The, if they are, yes. Excellent. Yes, they, all your answers are correct. So I think that you can continue working then the next exercises in the platform. As you see, they are quite easy. So, Try to uh, go ahead and complete them as soon as possible. And I see that I have at least, oh, like a little bit more than half of the class is here. So um, we will uh, go ahead and continue covering our topics for today. And here I'm sharing the presentation with you. As you may remember, Yesterday, we were um, practicing the transitions word or and first, next, then, after that, and finally. And the, we also read this recipe, which is quite, quite simple. Now, what we are going to do is to write on, on receipt in groups. You have to describe the steps for your receipt. Uh, yesterday, we studied the receipt of a sandwich. 
the Elvis Presley's favorite sandwich. Uh, we also discussed this spicy salsa that we see. Now you have to create or to share one of your receipts. Remember to add the sequence word. And also you may click this link. If you click in this link, it will get you to some vocabulary that you can use for your um, receipt. You click this link and you will watch the vocabulary. Um, and also it is here in case that you are not able to take notes, but it will be good if you watch the video so that you can check um, the pronunciation of the uh, kitchen vocabulary. That maybe you're gonna use it for your receipt. Uh, so for example, let's imagine that I'm going to make uh, rice. So I can say first, um, put uh, oil into a pan, then chop, chop the vegetables that you will add to the rice, okay? After that, uh, and you continue and you might use this vocabulary and maybe you would like to watch the video so you, that you can uh, practice the pronunciation of the kitchen or the cooking vocabulary and create your receipt. Maybe you want to uh, to share a receipt of uh, a traditional meal, maybe to make pupusa, what do you need? First, you need to go to La Tiendona and buy the ingredients, probably. <laughs> so you will decide. And uh, any question about this activity? It's going to be in groups. You create one receipt. Remember, watch the video for vocabulary, and then you might use this vocabulary in your presentation. Uh, important is the transition words, like first, then, after that, finally, etc. Any question? No questions. Okay, I'll create the breakout rooms and I will be adding the rest of the people. Where can you receive this? And then we will share in the class.
Okay, I hope that you finish your recipes, but uh, we're going to check them after attendance. So let's say present as soon as you hear your name. And if it's possible, you turn on the cameras, please. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Chair. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Carlos Emilio Cota. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Cecia Noemí Ramos Rivas. Cecia Noemí. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Eisel Panesa. Eisel Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Janet Fernanda. Julissa Yamile. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Ivania. Catherine Beatriz. Okay, Carla, thank you so much for writing. Let's see, and Cecia too. Catherine Beatriz. Present. Disculpe que pude entrar hasta esta hora. Okay. Okay, yes, thank you so much. Luis Javier. Luis Javier Castillo. Martiel Esaú García. Present, Miss. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Present teacher. Present teacher. Mirna. Santes Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noe Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, now let's check your work. Let's see. Thank you, Valmore. I see that you wrote here in the meeting chat. So let me check you here. Okay, done. Now let's listen to room number one. It was Cecia Ramos, Carlos Humberto, Matiel Esaú, Marilyn, and Abigail. Well, Abigail teacher. Oh, sorry, Abigail Mejia.
Good evening, teacher and everybody. I write the brochure, Russian salad. The ingredients, one pound of potato, a petrol, a one carrot, and mayonnaise, and salt and pepper. Brochures, first we wash the vegetables. Uh, after that, cut the potatoes, pepper, and carrots into pies. Then, place the vegetable in a bowl and steam cook. And next, mix vegetable with mayonnaise, pepper, and salt to stay. And finally, serve and eat. Okay, excellent job. You did it very good and you used the transition words. So that's okay. Thank you so much for presenting. You did a beautiful job. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, let's listen. In room number two, we have Carlos Emilio, Janet Angel, Julissa Vienta, Carla Ivania, and Luis Javier. Adelante, compañeras, ahí estoy presentando. Solo que se ve bien ampliado y no se ven las... la receta. Esa es la primera... Pongo la segunda de una vez entonces. Si gusta ahí a los ingredientes, Janet y yo, bueno, el nombre y los ingredientes y yo digo lo demás. Ingredients. <coughs> Strawberry and banana shake. Ingredients. Um, 2050 gramos, como se dice, teacher, disculpe. Which one? Uh -huh. Strawberry. Eh, two bananas, eh, media, media. Half. Half, half. orange. Um, 20, 22, two, M, 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 L, milk. Two hundreds. Two hundreds. Millers, mm -hmm. milk. Milk. Twenty-five. Mm, Warmth or sugar. Whipped cream to decorate. Eh, ahí sería procedures, ¿verdad, teacher? Ajá, uh -huh. procedure. Okay, procedures. First was the strawberry will undrain them remove the leaves and chew them peel and slice the plain things second uh, 
pour the milk into a container. Picture esa palabra, ¿cómo se pronunciaría? Sweet table, sweet table. Uh -huh. It's a suitable container, but tiene que ir al revés, a suitable container. Ah, ok, suitable container for the blender, add the sugar and stir to dissolve it, dissolve, dissolve it and the fruit and blend it all together until it has the desired, desired texture. texture. Leave in the, bueno, Finally, leave in the branches until serving time. Decorate with white, white, white cream, and placing a slice of banana or a strawberry on the edge of the glass. Okay, very nice and simple recipe. That's a good job. Um, I I know that you didn't write the uh, sequence word, but you mentioned them, which is good. Thank you so much. Now number three, Cristina Cerritos, Elizabeth Hernandez, Hazel Menjibar, Melanie Martinez, and Victor Bonilla. Bueno, Víctor y Elizabeth prepararon un omelé. <ríe> Elizabeth eh, picó los, los vegetales <ríe> y Víctor eh, partió el huevo. <ríe> Pero no sé si lo dejaron por escrito ellos. No sé si, si lo dejaron por escrito. Sí, Elizabeth iba anotando, ¿verdad? No, es mentira, yo no tenía nada para anotar. Yo en el teléfono estaba intentando escribirlo. <ríe> Sorry. Yo vengo manejando. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's continue then checking what we have for today. Okay, and there you have the new vocabulary. Now we have this conversation on page 21. So we will move to a different topic. Um, let's read this conversation and you can practice at home with microphones off, remember? So this is a conversation between Sarah, well, it's Sarah, Walter, Sonia, and Renee. It's four people. Okay, let's start. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include the server's first call and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, do you have questions about the conversation, vocabulary? No questions? No questions, teacher. 
Okay, good. Um, as this is a conversation for four, I will uh, have you to practice this one in breakout rooms. Remember to change roles. For example, in the first time, I will be Sarah, then I will be Walter, then I will be Sonia, and finally, I will be Renee. So you can all practice the old roles. I'm going to um, recreate the breakout rooms. And uh, um, let's see, I have a question here. What is charter? Charter is like um, capítulo, por ejemplo. Capítulo. Uh -huh. So el manual está dividido en capítulos. Los capítulos son charters. Okay. Uh, remember that this one is on page 21 of your material and also is in the PowerPoint presentation. Um, let's create the breakout room so that you can practice in groups of practice. Okay. All right, let's practice. Ya no puede compartir. Hello, I don't have a presentation. Um, ya no puede compartir. Janet. Va a Balmo, le practicamos entonces. Nosotros. Bueno, este es Sara y yo, Walter. Vaya. We need to create the main step to including the manual to train our staff. What do you do pro propose? First, sir, need to know the correct way to present the menu. Sonia, ¿quién sería Sonia? Catherine. ¿Qué sería? Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how service should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Magdiel, usted, René? Carlos. Okay, okay. Actually, I would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Chapter. First chapter. Yo soy Sara. We need to create the main step to include in the manual to try our stuff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct what to present to menu. Yo soy René, por si alguien más va a leer lo de Sonia. Um, I... Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet, greet the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it will be better if we include the servers, dress code and appearance in the first chapter. ¿Quién comienza? <clears throat> Mm, Catherine. Yeah. 
We need to create the main step to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? It must in my turn. Third, server server need to know that correct way to press in the menu. Wouldn't it be uh, mm -mm. no. Yo René. Bueno. Oh, as you can see, um, today's topics uh, we're going to be using wouldn't it be better or it would be better for affirmative statement. So if according to the conversation, what do you think would be better is used for? What do you think? What is it used for? Okay, so that information is on the next page, it's on 22 in the number four, and it says, would be better is used to express a strong advice or suggestion. And then we have the formula or uh, how do we form the sentences using that particular structure? It is subject plus would be better plus the verb and infinity form without, um, well, yeah, it, it has a two, 
And then we have, it would be better to let employees decide what process to change. It would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. So as you can see here, you can, the formula is, a, is, the, is shown here. Subject, it. Then the phrase would be better. And then the infinitive with two. Two plus verb, so meaning infinitive. Other expressions to provide suggestions or alternatives, would you prefer? Wouldn't it be better to, or it would be good if, it would be good if we had a professional to complete the manual. So we have some examples with this structure, um, but I would like to know if you have any question about this. Or is clear how do we to use this um, model would be better. Questions? Okay, as you do not have questions apparently, so we're going to put the word in the correct order in exercise number five. So I'll give you time for you to put the sentences in order and then we're going to check together.
Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, I volunteer to share the number two. You can read it or you can type it in the meeting chat. I volunteer for number two. What? Wooden? 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 It's the bear to response the manual. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much. That's correct. Wouldn't it be better to re revise the manual before printing? Good. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. Now let's check the number three. I volunteer for number three. Volunteer for number three. Catherine, thank you so much. It would be good if we change the dress code. Excellent. Thank you so much. Volunteer for number four. It would be a cool idea to have a training manual of shelf. Excellent. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. Good. Thank you so much for sharing. Hi. Volunteer. No. Primero, segundo. Segundo. ¿Andate para tu cama, pues? Dos. Andate para tu cama. Teacher, I think. Yes, number five. Keep building. Permiso. Be. We don't eat. We don't. Ajá. We don't. Wouldn't be. it be? Teacher? Okay. It's fair to let the manager decide. Excellent. That's correct. Wouldn't it be better to let the manage to the manager decide? Excellent. Sure. Yes? It's a question. Yes, it's question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have a list of difficult situations. Um, let's read them. I get really hungry before I go to bed. I sometimes feel really stressed. I need to study, but I can't concentrate. I feel sick before every exam. Yeah. I forget about half the new words I learn, and I get nervous when I speak English to foreigners. Questions about vocabulary? No? 
Okay, uh, starting the questions, let's imagine that uh, these situations are true for us. And let's write three suggestions for each one. Or at least one, if we do not have enough time to write uh, three suggestions, we can write at least one for each situation. For example, it says, I get really hungry before I go to bed. So we can use, it would be good if, or oh, it would be better too. For example, uh, it would be good if you drink a lot of water. If you drink water, you're not hungry anymore. Is it clear what you're going to do? Okay, so remember the, the formula here is, so we're going to use, it would be better to, or it would be good if, any of them, you can use them to give suggestions uh, for these situations. We have six situations. Let's write at least one per each, at least one uh, advice or suggestion for each situation. I'll give you time. Ay. 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 para allá,
finished. No teacher, please click on five minutes, please. You finished? Sorry. No teacher, no. please. Okay, I'll give you more time, no worries. Finish teacher. Okay, let's start checking. What do you have for, I get really hungry before I go to bed, volunteer? You won't be better to drink a food or what? It would be better to drink a cup of oats. Avena. Oatmeal, okay. Oatmeal, excellent. Yes, that's a good idea. Any other volunteer? Do you have anything different? It will be better if you sleep 
earlier? Yes, I think it's a good suggestion. Thank you so much. Any other? Okay, let's move to the next one. I sometimes feel really stressed. Volunteers to, to share? It would be better to make exercise for 30 minutes. Okay, to do exercise for 30 minutes. Oh, sounds good. Anybody else? It will be better if you relax a, a little. Uh-huh. If you learn how to relax, okay? Very good. All right, let's move to, I need to study, but I can't concentrate. Volunteers? Um, you would be better to relax for 15 minutes, then continue studying. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Anybody else? It would be better if you listen to music when you study. Hmm, excellent idea. Well done. Now, I feel sick before every exam. Volunteers? It will be good. it will be good if you visit a doctor. Okay, sounds good. Anybody else? You would be better to listen to music before every exam. Okay. Next, I forget about half the new words I learned. Volunteers? You will be better to study with images. Mm, sounds like a good idea. Any other suggestion? Any other suggestion? Okay, let's see the last one. I get nervous when I speak English to foreigners. You will be, you will be better to practice at, at a time with the music and videos or movie. Aha, uh -huh. that's good to get confidence. Excellent. Any other suggestion? Okay. Now, as you know, um, in this case, we were using wood. Uh, wood is a model auxiliary, and they have, uh, most of them have different usages. And we have been using wood. We uh, um, joined with be better to or be good if to give suggestions. But the model wood is also used for requests. And, and that's where I added these two um, to practice. But let me get the, the audio program. Okay, here is a different use of wood. 
We will uh, listen and practice it. Page 89, Exercise 7, Grammar Focus. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the fish and rice. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. Okay, here remember that um, we are using uh, would and will for requests. Um, but as you can see, the will is most of all used in the responses because it is a um, decision, a spontaneous decision. That's what is um, just on the, let's see on the answers, for example. You can see, what would you like? And you can say, I'd like the fish and rice. And also, I'll have a small salad. Both are correct. Um, we have said before that we are for spontaneous decisions, but you can use either uh, would or um, will. That's okay. Any question with this? Okay, if you don't have any questions, we have this exercise that is to complete that conversation. For example, the first one is a question and in the question we use would or will. Would. Would, excellent. So the question would be, what would you like to order? And for the answer? I'd? Yes, could be I'd or I'll. Either or I have the spicy chicken. Next one is a question. Would? Would, yes, correct. Would you like rice and potatoes? I'll. I'll. Uh -huh. I like rice, please. Yes. Okay, and? Would. Would, yes. Would you like anything to drink? Volunteer to continue. I uh -huh, the complete thing. I'd like to just have a glass of water. Excellent, that's correct. Next. Would you like anything else? Excellent, correct. Would you like anything else? Uh, next. No, that will be all for now, thanks. Yes, correct. No, that'll be all. No, no. For now, <laughs> thanks. Uh, would you? Next. Would you like? Anything? Would you like? Uh huh. No. You like no. a dessert? No. Yes, I. That will 
be. I would like. Be. I would like uh -huh, ice cream. What favor? What favor? Would you like? Uh huh. Hmm. I. I'll have strawberry. I'll have. Uh huh. Excellent. I'll have strawberry, please. Good. Now we're going to stop for a little while so that we can check attendance. Okay. Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Balmori Alexander. Present, present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cecia Noemi. Francisco Ernesto. Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto. Hazel Panesa. Julissa Yamilet. Carla Ivania. Okay, veo que Cecia escribió. Hey, Carla Ivania, too. Um, Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier. Present Thank you, Luis. Uh, Magdiel Esau. Present teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Mario Ernesto. Melanie Alexandra. Mirna Yanet. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina. And uh, Victor Noé. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, now with the second check-in, we can continue sharing. Just give me one moment. Okay, and this is what we have already done. Then we have this conversation so that we can continue with the topic. Remember, we are studying um, restaurant industry. Let me go to the audio program so I can play the recording for you. Okay, as you can see, this is a, a conversation between the server and the customer. They are uh, probably at the cafeteria. It doesn't look like a restaurant. So yes, it can be a restaurant, why not? So we're going to listen to the conversation and then tell me if there is new vocabulary or pronunciation and we can continue practicing it before you do your role plays. Page 88, exercise six, conversation, ordering a meal. Part A, listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the spicy fish and rice. All right, and would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. 
And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Hey, questions. Questions? No questions? Teacher. Then volunteers, uh-huh. How do you manage dressing? Dressing, así como casi casi como está ahí, dressing. Son okay. aderezos, uh -huh. okay. aderezos, okay. dressing. Any other question or comment? Vinaigrette. 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 Uh huh. Vinaigrette. Como que es eh. Vinaigrette. Es una vinagreta. Any other question? No, teacher. Okay, uh, volunteers to our play. Me, teacher. Okay, Abigail. And who wants to practice with Abigail? Magdiel. Okay, Abigail and Magdiel. Okay. You are server or customer? I'm server. Okay. Go may ahead. I, may I take your order? Yes, I like the spice fish and rice. All right. I want to like a salad. Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dress you want to like? We have blue cheese or vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. I want you like anything to drink. Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay. okay, excellent. Thank you so much for participating. You did it very good. I just heard two words that were mispronounced. Remember, it's what kind, kind. And the other one is vinaigrette, vinaigrette, vinaigrette. You can repeat, vinaigrette. Excellent, thank you. And do we have two more volunteers? Yo, teacher. Cristina and Victor. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, I like the spice, fish, and rice. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. Well, King of dressing, dressing will July. We had blue cheese and vinagrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything, anything, or anything, 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 okay, anything to drink, to drink, to drink, drink, anything to drink. Okay, thank you. Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Excellent. Okay. Well thank done. You. Yes, remember it's what kind. Kind. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind. Kind. Yes, kind. mixed or mixed. Mixed. SST sound at the end. Mixed. Mixed. Mix. Okay. okay. Mixed green salad. Um, do we have two more volunteers? Uh, yo. Okay, we have Carlos Humberto and who wants to help Carlos Humberto? Janet, thank you so much. Let's listen to Carlos and Janet. Ok, eh, voy a comenzar. Bueno. Ok. May I take your order? Yes, I like to spice pizza and rice. 
All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? Uh, we have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large eight tea, please. Excellent, iced tea. Very good, you did it excellent. Thank you so much for uh, participating. Now we have um, a listening uh, exercise here. So let's try to get this information. Listen to the server, talk to the next customer. What does she order? I'm going to play the audio and try to answer that question. Page 88, exercise six, part B. Listen to the server talk to the next customer. What does she order? Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'd like a cheeseburger, please. Would you like today's special? A cheeseburger and fries? Uh, no fries for me, but I'll take a small potato salad. Okay. Anything to drink? Yeah. I'll have a large iced coffee, please. And how about some dessert? We have pie, cake, and ice cream. No, thanks. I'm trying to watch my weight. Okay, did you get the information or do you want to listen again? Listen again, please. Okay, sure. Page 88, exercise 6, part B. Listen to the server talk to the next customer. What does she order? Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'd like a cheeseburger, please. Would you like today's special? A cheeseburger and fries? Uh, no fries for me, but I'll take a small potato salad. Okay. Anything to drink? Yeah. I'll have a large iced coffee, please. And how about some dessert? We have pie, cake, and ice cream. No, thanks. I'm trying to watch my weight. Did you get the information now? Did you get the answer or you want to listen for a third time? Hey, let's listen again. Page 88, exercise six. Part B. Listen to the server talk to the next customer. What does she order? Are you ready to order? Yes, I think so. I'd like a cheeseburger, please. Would you like today's special? A cheeseburger and fries? Uh, no fries for me, but I'll take a small potato salad. Okay. Anything to drink? Yeah. I'll have a large iced coffee, please. And how about some dessert? We have pie, cake, and ice cream. No, thanks. I'm trying to watch my weight. Okay, what did she order? She ordered the cheese hamburger. Cheese burger, uh-huh. And coffee. And salad, potato, potato salad. Potato salad? And drink a coffee. Iced coffee. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You did a very good job. You got the complete information. So that's good. Good for you. Okay. Any questions? Okay. If there are no questions, um, we have this uh, short exercise. This is uh, pretty much vocabulary. It's quite simple, but probably we can um, practice pronunciation or you may learn a couple of new words. 
Let's repeat. Bread. Chicken. Corn. Corn. Fish. Fish. Grapes. Grapes. Lamb. Lamb. Mangoes. Mangoes. Octopus. Octopus. Pasta. Pasta. Peas. Peas. Potatoes. Potatoes. Rice. Rice. Spring. Spring. Strawberries. Strawberries. Turkey. Turkey. Any new vocabulary here? Teacher, what does mean shrimps? Shrimp. Shrimp. Son yes. camarones. Ah, okay. Teacher, and lamb? Lamb es cordero. Thank you. Cordero. Any other question? No more questions? Okay, the idea is for you to classify into the correct categories. Meat, seafood, fruit, vegetables, and let me see the other one is grains. Questions here? No questions. And you have to add one more to each category. For example, uh, on, okay, let's see the first one. What would you do? Meat is chicken. Meat, chicken, chicken. uh-huh. Chicken. Lamb, fish. Lamb. And fish. Um, I think that fish would be for seafood. Octopus. Octopus would be seafood. Uh huh. Fish. Octopus. Shrimp. Shrimp. Uh huh. Shrimp. And so on. And fruits. Strawberries. Strawberries. Grapes. Grapes. Uh huh. And that uh, would be your mangoes. Ah, uh, yeah, mangoes. There are mangoes too. And vegetables. Potatoes. Potatoes. Corn. Corn. And I, sorry, uh, peas. Peas is great. Peas son pisantes, los, uh -huh, los verdecitos, que son las chibolitas. Como alberjas. Exacto. <laughs> Esos son los peas. Um, bueno, esos irían en grains, quizás. Yes. Grains. Or right. no, right? It would be vegetables. In grains would we would be adding um, pasta and rice, I guess. Okay, so that's it for today. This was just a little vocabulary. And I know that you are tired and uh, I'm tired too. So I'm going to let you go. Thank you for joining today's session. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Have a good, have a good weekend. weekend, teacher. Good night. See you on Monday. Good night. Good night.